second part, part two. We're going to start working on the actual swinging motion itself. Now, the 10 to 2 looks fairly simple, but a lot of people, especially when they're starting out, you be quite a scary experience. Most people used to the gym, we're used to going forward, forward, up, pulling. We can see the weight, we can see the object in front of us. Now, we're training the weight behind us. Now this can be quite disconcerting the first time you try and do this. It feels like your arms are being put in a position of compromise, that your arms will snap off and something's going to go wrong and you won't be feeling good in the morning. So, getting straight into it, we're going to build up that confidence. To do this, we're going to use what we'll call for now, the back pendulum exercise. Essentially, you're going to take the mace and instead of casting up in front or over the shoulder, you're going to grab it and pull it behind you like so. And this is going to get you used to holding the mace. And we're just going to hold it and let it stretch you out. Just going to hold it in the back here. And what you'll find is, test where it feels comfortable with your elbows. Move your elbows in and out and see where it feels comfortable. Ideally, you want your elbows in as much as possible. You want to open your chest without arching your back overly much. You don't want to be hyperextending like this. You want to be nice and tight. Squatting down slightly. You'll see my hands are close to my neck as well. This is an important point. A lot of people, when they swing, swing like this. The hands are over the head. That's wrong. You're not getting the full benefit. That means that you don't have the flexibility in your shoulder girdle to get your arms all the way back. The guys in India, phenomenal. Arms right back, all the way back. It's something that I need to work on. So to begin with, in the beginning, take the mace, wind it around your body, screw your head through, or get someone to pass it to you. Alternatively, if you don't find this as a comfortable movement, you can step behind the mace, be able to squat down, grab it, and then stand up. Once we've got this into position, now we're going to start doing the back pendulum movement. Now this will simulate the back portion of the 10 to 2. And it will get your confidence for the feeling of the weight. Now a lot of people, again, it's behind you. Because they can't see it, they can't feel it. What they see, they connect with. Like when people go in the gym in the mirror, constantly looking in the mirror, getting their pump, they're not connecting with their bodies. This will teach you how to connect with your body. You have to, otherwise you won't be able to perform the exercise. So to learn this, take the mace in the rear and start gently rocking from side to side. Getting higher, higher. And it's important here, watch my legs. I'm pistoning slightly off each leg. And I'm swaying my body in the opposite direction to the head of the mace. Now this is creating a counterweight action, like a pendulum. So in the rear, you'll see what my hands are doing. Observe my body, see what my legs are doing. And now, you'll get a feel for it, you can go higher. The higher it goes, the more I have to turn my body to the side. This is an important factor. A lot of people, when they're swinging the mace, body's rigid, like fixed to the ground. <clears throat> they're putting no flow into it, it's important to flow. And that's the point of this exercise, it's to teach you your biomechanics, and it's to teach you how to absorb and retranslate force. The wrestlers learnt this over the years, obviously. When they're fighting an opponent, the opponent comes at them, they have to take the force, redirect it, send the force somewhere else, hopefully into the pit for a successful win in a dangle competition. Coming back to the back pendulum, once you feel confident, you get some air, you're rocking side to side, pistoning on the legs, come over, pull it over down to the front position. One more time. Swinging, swinging, up and over.
down into the centre line. Once you've got that, you can now build up even more.